Hello and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we are going to be trying to recreate Junkrat's projectile. So, uh, alright, first things first. We can actually use some of the existing uh, blueprints in the first person uh, template blueprint that Unreal provides for us. So let's head over to the first person blueprint uh, folder and let's open up this first person projectile blueprint. So if you look in here, a lot of the functionality is already built into this pr uh, template blueprint. So what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this and we're going to name it junk rat projectile. Hit enter. Now we're going to want to open this up and we're just going to want to tweak some things in here. So, first things first, we probably want to make the projectile look different, right? So, I actually have a particle pack in here that I'm going to use. Uh, you guys could use your own particles or uh, make your own particles. So, here, let's open up some particles and let's go with projectiles. And I want to use this one. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use. Alright, delete get the name copy paste and I'm just gonna delete the static mesh because I'm actually gonna use a particle for my projectile so head over here paste get my particle in there it's looking a little big let's make it smaller 0 0.5 0 0.3 that looks about maybe a little bigger 0.45 that looks good to me so let's see how this works right away so Let's head over here, open up the first person character blueprint, and this is all default. If it looks a little different from yours, it's because I've just deleted some of this uh, useless uh, VR code that we don't need right now. So I've deleted it already, but I haven't added anything here yet. So go ahead and copy how mine looks if you want to, but if not, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to do this. Uh, so over here in spawn actor first person projectile, let's change this projectile over to our junk rat projectile hit yes compile save and let's see how this looks right off the bat so already we get this nice looking projectile right so it looks a little bouncy to me we could tweak that a little bit let's head over back to our junk rat projectile click on this projectile tab and here we can control everything so bounciness i'll lower this a little bit to 0.4 hit compile hit save uh gravity scale look just about right to me let's hit play and see how this looks all right beautiful already looking like chunk rats uh attack all right so here i've set up a quick little dummy blueprint just so we could test uh, damage dealing uh, so you can see how the damage actually works so if you take a look at this dummy he has a health bar and we're gonna try to damage him with Junkrat's projectile so head over back to your Junkrat, Junkrat projectile and here I'm just gonna add another sphere collision and I'm gonna call this AOE right because this is what I'm gonna use uh, to check what units are inside the damage zone when the projectile explodes so I'm going to make this damage zone pretty large. Let's make it 200. Uh, then I'm going to set the hidden in game so that we can see it in game. Let's take a look. Oh, it's a little hard to see, but you can see that like circle around the projectile, right? Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but I hope you guys can see that red circle around. So that's basically going to be my damage zone when the projectile explodes so all right let's head over here event hit and what we could do it first is we could do an on destroyed event or yeah search up destroyed and event destroyed here we go so first thing i want to do is i want to spawn an emitter at location all right so this will be the explosion look so let's go back to our particle pack over here and let's pick uh, an explosion particle Let's go with hits. That looks just fine to me. 
All right, so get the name, copy, paste, head over to Junkrat Projectile, and paste the projectile in there. So our location is gonna be get active location, because we just wanna spawn this explosion wherever our projectile is when it explodes. And then the scale, we might want this to be a bit larger, right? So we can go three, three, three. Let's see how that looks. Um, yeah, let's see how this looks right now. So I shoot it at the floor, it bounces in there. Boom, you get that little explosion when the projectile dies. So I think the, we can increase the AOE a little bit actually. We can make this 300, I think that'll be fine. So let's take a look. There we go. So we can fire these like junk rat up in the sky. And you get your little explosion. All right, so let's make this projectile actually deal some damage to our dummy over here. So I'm gonna head back over to our junk rat projectile. Move this a little lower. Click on this AOE and I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, yes, I'm gonna do an on destroyed. Mm -hmm. We're gonna spawn that projectile. We're only gonna, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag out this AOE and we're gonna drag out from this pin and say, get overlapping actors. So I'm gonna click on this AOE uh, sphere collision and I'm gonna scroll down here and actually change uh, some of this collision presets. So I'm gonna go to custom, I'm gonna click ignore all and then I'm simply gonna only overlap world dynamic. Hit compile and save. And we're going to drag off from this array pin and do a for each loop. Plug this in here. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to apply damage. This is a built in node to Unreal that you could use. It's really simple. All you do is type in apply damage, plug in the actor, and then set how much damage you want this to do. So let's make it do 10 damage or we can make it do 15. Let's do 15. Hit compile and save. Um, and I'm actually going to do a print string over here just so we get more feedback that it's actually working. Delt damage. Hit compile and save. And let's see if this works. Hit play. There's my dummy over there. I'm going to aim at the floor, try to get the projectile to land on him. All right, way off. <laughs> let's bounce it off the wall over there. Oh, that was closer, but still a little off. Here we go, boom. You see it dealt damage to this dummy over here. I'm actually gonna lower the the bounciness just a little bit so that we can get this uh, aim right. <laughs> so let's head over to bounciness. Let's go point two, hit compile, play. There we go. There we go. All right, so we can see that our damage is working. Anything in that circle will get damaged. And you see how the gravity affects the projectile. If you shoot it way up, it comes down just like Junkrat's uh, projectile. Explodes after a set duration. Bounces off walls. You can try to get a trick shot in. So yeah, this is uh, how you can make Junkrat's projectile in Unreal Engine. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you learned from this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because you, not, you do not want to miss uh, some upcoming content. You're going to learn a lot. It's going to be awesome. And uh, if you want to support us, please uh, head over to our Google Play Store 
play some of our games and uh, leave some ratings yeah thanks see you guys next time